tide has the right of way. It was Saturday night and the whole family was headed out for a full moon sail. Steffi was along telling her famous stories and we so appreciate those. Our wonderful Commodore offered to let me dock my boat at his house close to the Hillsborough Inlet. This saved me two hours of motoring in the morning. It was a beautiful sunset and Gracie looked like a natural. When you're going against it a lot quicker, sailboats have no brakes. <laughs> Power boats do it either, but they have a lot more reverse. Okay, so that little spot over there where those boats are, Yeah. we've always affectionately called it Frank and Jimmy's Island because Frank and Jimmy's is the prop shop that makes new propellers and fixes broken propellers and shafts. And lots of people run aground there because it's very shallow. At, at low tide, you can see sand and people, you know, play frisbee and bring their dogs and the bird's ankles show when you're standing on the sandbar. That's awesome. Thanks for the story, Steffi. You're welcome. It was the Hillsborough Inlet races, number three and four. This was our second race, and we were set to do very, very well. Here you can see we're attacking in front of this other boat. Very nice as they pass us from behind, trying to get good wind. Everybody's working hard to tack. Here's Steffi. She's an awesome person, has lots of experience. The rest of our crew here in this picture. And then there's my friend Katie. She was my friend in high school and her first time sailing, she did a great job. And there's Joshy enjoying the most comfortable seat in the house. It was such a great day of racing, and our results were amazing. In the first race, we took seventh place, and guess what, folks? In the last race, we took third place. That's right, you got it, third place. And Joshi drove up the intercoastal the two hours on the way home. 